When AirMode acquires an aircraft with unique features to offer our customers, we like to share those features by highlighting what they can do. The Chelton flight system, known for its highway in the sky graphics, is popular in turbine and rotary aircraft, but it's unusual to see in a piston like this 2001 Cessna T182T. Join Airmart's own CFII, Matt Gabbard, as he demonstrates an ILS and missed approach using the Chelton flight system, which was acquired by Genesis Aerosystems in 2014. Hey, this is Matt. I'm flying November 3533 November, the Cessna 182 with the Chelton system. We're going to now use the Chelton to fly an ILS and missed approach, which have already been loaded. We start at the point where I receive the approach clearance from air traffic control. Flap 2500 until was cleared ILS 4 approach 33 November. So uh, pushing the LNAV button will enable the autopilot to intercept and track the localizer and pushing the VNAV button will enable the vertical navigation as well. At the bottom you can see the um, enunciator shows that we have the correct sensing and the localizer needle there is magenta and uh, beginning to come in. And now we've intercepted it and as you can see the highway in the sky boxes um, that corresponds to the localizer. It's really cool to be able to fly through those uh, boxes. It really increases the situational awareness um, of the, the system. I could be flying the plane and just keep that um, flight path marker right in the center of those boxes and uh, be able to fly the approach. Now we come up on the final approach fix, which is the magenta ring there, and then I have the um, outer marker light going off. Now I'm going to push the arm button for the missed approach. What this does is enable the um, autopilot to sequence to the uh, missed approach point automatically upon reaching uh, the missed approach point, which we'll see in just a second. We've uh, intercepted the glide slope, which is on the right, uh, the magenta diamond there, and it's centered. The autopilot's flying the approach very well here and uh, we're coming up on the missed approach point. Um, as you can see toward the bottom of the screen is the uh, height above the ground and as it gets to 200 feet that's when the uh, missed approach will occur. Um, so right now I'm still flying the uh, airplane through the boxes. There's the runway with a synthetic vision and just now I've started the um, missed approach. At this point on the autopilot, I've changed from approach mode and I've uh, hit the heading button. And since I'm in LNAV again, the uh, autopilot and the Chelton will work together to fly the airplane through the missed approach procedure. I'm going through that ring there and uh, that's the point where I can start the turn to the missed approach holding point, which in this case is a VOR. The, uh, the boxes have indicated to turn to the right and uh, the uh, autopilot obeys and turns the uh, airplane over to the right to go through the boxes and then takes a little bit of correction here but uh, it eventually gets over there. You can see that the, uh, the holding point at the VOR is indicated by a, um, a tethered balloon. And I'm pointing it out there. Um, it's the, uh, the VOR, that's the point that we'll be holding over. And as the system crosses over this VOR, it will um, perfectly fly the, uh, the entry. There's the uh, tethered balloon, and we're just crossing the VOR. And the autopilot is told to make a turn outbound on a parallel entry to the uh, holding pattern. So now we're on the outbound leg. Um, on a parallel entry and we'll continue this uh, for about a minute and since I am in heading mode on the autopilot and LNAV on the Chelton it is now uh, told to turn left and this is the turn in the protected airspace of the holding pattern back to the VOR and it does that quite nicely I've selected 3100 feet and uh, the autopilot is also holding that very, very well. 
um, the Skyway boxes show the path. The flight path indicator is going right through the center of those. Uh, situational awareness, once again, is excellent. We can see that we are um, heading straight back to the VOR, and it's, uh, it could be any holding point, an intersection, NDB, uh, whatever the case may be. There it comes into view and we're coming up on the uh, the holding point and I've got the power set for holding speed and as we see in just a second we'll cross right through that ring which indicates station passage we, we will begin the uh, turn outbound uh, on the uh, standard right hand turn uh, holding pattern for this procedure. And there we go. There is the holding point. We fly right through the tethered balloon. There's station passage. And the autopilot uh, is uh, told to turn to the right. And there we are. Thank you for joining us today as we use the Chelton system to fly an ILS approach and demonstrate a missed approach. If you're ready to see where your Chelton can take you, follow the link to the aircraft below. Airmart is a company of pilots working for pilots. Visit us at airmart.com or give us a call today.